heating and cooling for 24-7 comfort on call. Well, Brad, it looks like we're going to start out uh, our week on a bummer. It's a somber day. Yeah. You're dressed in black and this is not a coincidence? Our little friend, the Mars Helicopter Ingenuity, NASA says it has fulfilled its mission and the mission concludes because the little helicopter that could keep going can go no longer. Oh, okay. So here's this. Now that is a bummer. It is. So here's the uh, the story. And in fact, it was just a few weeks ago. I think I was working we with did? Jeff that day. Were, were you no, here? No, we were here. Yep. Okay. So there was a problem on flight number 70 and a problem again with flight number 71. So something, they knew something was going on. Okay. This was on flight 70 to its final flight, which was January 18th. And you're looking at the shadow of one of the two rotor blades. And as you can see, the tip of it is missing. And if you look on the right or left hand side of your screen, you can see a gouge in the sand. They actually think that maybe that's oh. where as it came down kind of cockeyed, that rotor blade got clipped off There's in the sand. There's okay? some blue in the sand. Yeah, too, you have to remember that that helicopter only weighed four pounds and the wingspan, those two rotor were four feet. Right. And they, they were like almost paper thin to sure. begin with. Okay. So they're very prone to damage and this is what likely happened. And let me show you why this is kind of interesting okay. because from the disaster, NASA has learned even more. So for the past several weeks of its light life, rather it was flying over these sand dunes. Okay. okay? You may remember, and we did this story early on, that the helicopter gauged its distance and its speed by continually photographing the ground. Okay, so it would compare the previous image with the current image and it would track, it would identify Rocky or any, sure. anything it can identify to keep track, okay? On that sandy surface, there were no rocks. It, oh, it all looked the same. And they think that maybe the helicopter lost its orientation. Oh, uh, okay. So they learned they something from it. the top of a dune. Or, right. or coming down, it sure. just couldn't, didn't know it was as close to the ground right. as, it, as it was. But again, it was designed for hopefully five, five. flights, 30 five. days. It completed 72, highest altitude 79 feet. Do you remember what the first one was? Like, wasn't it, it, it like a foot and a half or yeah, something? Yeah, it was very yeah. brief. It was just, does it work? Right. We'll go up, we'll go down. It went up. Because <laughs> yeah. again, the atmosphere is super thin. They didn't know it was going to work. Correct. They Only one one hundredth right. the density of yeah. Earth's atmosphere. It flew a total of 11 miles and it actually had become an important part of the rover's sure. mission as well, because now you were able to move ahead of the rover, photograph the terrain and find the safe. Yes. yes. So it was interesting how what was supposed to be an experiment suddenly became an important part right. of the whole mission. I thought Bill Nelson, the NASA administrator had a great quote. That remarkable helicopter flew higher and farther than we ever imagined and helped NASA to do what we do best, make the impossible possible. So, you know, Chris, here's the bottom line. They left earth together. They landed in February of 2021 together on April. They dropped the little helicopter out of the rover. It did its thing. It's been doing its thing. But now it's time for All them alone. to part ways. All alone. So they will just leave it there for. They'll leave the it there and the rover will continue to right. traverse and, and explore. And I do have one more quick little thing for you. The last, last time we saw it, it was last summer. They actually sent back this little mm -hmm. movie and you'll see it coming up here in just a moment or two. There and it, it took one of its uh, summertime flights. It was fun while it lasted. Fly high, friend. <laughs> Brad, thanks so much. I'll see you again tomorrow.